Scott, I'm uh, so happy that I met you the last time you were here in uh, Tallinn as well, so I can make you teach me how to play open face Chinese yeah. pineapple now. And the good thing is, I actually, the last tournament I played live was an open face Chinese tournament and I won it. So I'm in, I'm in you good, won it? yeah, so I'm in good shape to teach you today. Perfect. Okay. So can you just show me how it goes? Okay. So first and foremost, you know the hand rankings for poker, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we're going to make 13 cards. We're going to have five card hand, five card hand, three card hand. Mm -hmm. The back hand has to be the strongest. The middle has to be the next strongest. The top has to be the weakest. That's all we're looking for. But it's normal hand rankings for, for poker. Mm -hmm. So we start with five cards. We have to use all five cards to start with. And we can do this face up just so that yeah. we can show everyone sort of how it works. Ooh, I like to see red. Yeah, so you have a lot of hearts there. So, so, what, so what, what are you thinking when you I see would, this? Can I use all of them? You have to use all yeah. of them. That, that, so I would do like this to yeah. make it like um, flush. Exactly, you, you have a really strong mm -hmm. start with mm -hmm. four to a flush have a weak card in the middle and then maybe we get some queens or aces up top. What about you? For mine, I have a lot of diamonds. It's not great starting hand actually, especially because I see you have a lot of hearts here, but I think I have to go like this. So it's important always to check out what the other players it's have. It's very important not only to check what your cards mm -hmm. are, but also to check mm -hmm. your opponents because let's say further down the line, it might be that you, you're going for some pairs or something, mm -hmm. but if you see that a lot of the other cards have gone, you want to make sure that you avoid those. So now we're going to get three cards next. Mm -hmm. You have to use two of these three. You're going to throw one away. Okay. I'm going to normally they would be dealt face down, but I'm going to deal them face mm -hmm. up just so that we can show everybody what the cards are. Come on, come on. Ah. So we have to use two of these. This is very good for me, by the way, because that completes my flush. Okay. So what are you thinking when you look at these? King up top, obviously. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and we always put it to the side. I would use the deuce. So again, look look at my cards for what you have here. So you have a choice between a two and an eight, and indeed I have an eight. So yes, throw the eight okay. is, a, is a very good choice. And for me, I'm just completing my flush. I'm very happy with that. So we get another three. So this is how it goes. Yeah. You make uh, uh, the first hand that you get dealt is five cards. Yeah. You use five, then you get three. Uh, you have to burn one. Yeah, uh, it's always going to be that after the first five, you're going to get dealt three every time. You have to use two, okay. you have to throw one. Now you have an interesting choice because yes, this is actually perfect. Yes, yeah, I really like this. Um, there are a, a couple of hearts gone, but still the hearts are very live. We are going to need to make two pair in order to make the oh, kings yeah. valid. Mm -hmm. The interesting point with this, by the way, when we play progressive pineapple like we are playing, if you get queens up top or better, you get into fantasy land. Fantasy land is where you get all of your cards in your hand, and that's really, really powerful. So it's important that you do try and get a strong hand up at the top so that you can get all those cards in your hand. Because the last tournament that I won, I got 13 cards in my hand. I made a royal flush out of 13 cards. I got 14 cards in my hand. I made trips up top, and trips up top is a lot of points. Um, worth noting, by the way, that the way the game works, it's based on royalties, you have points. So the stronger your hand is, the more points you're going to make. So kings up top is really good. If you can make this, th this would be super if nice. I can. So you're throwing the nine. Um, Do we I have don't, one more round to go? We're going to have a couple more rounds to go. A okay. couple more rounds to go. Mine is not the greatest because in the middle I'm struggling and the flush would be no good in the middle anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna have to keep the four even. Oh no, but all the fours are gone actually. I think then I'm just gonna burn this up at the top, mm -hmm. try and leave as much space in the middle. So three more cards. Come on, yay, you got my heart. Oh, very this strong. Need. So all oh, you're gonna need, you're just gonna need to make two pair in the middle or trips mm -hmm. to make your hand live. Okay. So what are you thinking? There's a three. There is a three. Nine, so I would probably do it like I this. I like that choice. That's a really good choice. Yay. And then for me, this is pretty good because I can put aces in the middle, which Ooh. means if I get a queen now, I would get into fantasy land. So that's pretty okay. decent. It's a final draw. I'm going to do these down actually so that you can sweat them. Yeah, the sound of fantasy land is like so lovely. Fantasy luring. land it's would like... be lovely. <laughs> if we can get you a fantasy land and show the fantasy land as well. Oh, you've got it as <gasps> well. Very nice. And I Very still nice. need to use And just put on anything this. up yeah. top, yeah. 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 I mean, you go for the higher one because why, why oh, okay. not? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> and then I need a queen to get into my fantasy land. Do we have it there? No, no, no fantasy for me. So, 
you are now going to get 14 cards in your hand, mm -hmm. and then you get to make the hands from that. So we'll just we'll do one fantasy. I'm going to sort of ignore what my hand is. We just want I to, made it to fantasy land. We want to see land. what your fantasy land is. That was so amazing. So Two, this is the three, fantasy four, five, land six, round. This is what I have, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't have a flush. Mm, no flush there. Do I have a straight? You do have a straight. Uh, you have a few straight, actually. It's a shame that you're uh, short of one diamond. One diamond would have been nice because then you could have made flush and straight. You have an extra diamond. Yeah, but I can just uh, yeah. make the flush you got down. The straight, there. Uh, the straight yeah. uh, down here. Yeah. Then make it. It's not the best fantasy, mm, unfortunately. It's not. I've seen a lot better. You've just got a pair of queens, a pair yeah. of sixes. Yeah, you can you can help it's me with that. It's probably only You're this. You're the pro here. <laughs> you get points for it, so mm -hmm. the straight's worth two points at the back. Mm -hmm. The sixes is worth one point. Unfortunately, it's really not much points at all. I'm wondering, is there anything better we can do? But you're no. missing one diamond. If yeah. you had one diamond, you could they make can... flush straight. Yeah. Then you're getting a lot more points. I have one question. Uh, yeah. During the tournament, do I have to keep my own score or the dealer helps me? The dealer does it for you. Um, ah. I mean, as always, the dealer is there to help you out. So mm. the dealer does everything for you. They'll calculate the scores. Mm. Obviously, it's good to check it just in case you're not sure. But yeah, the dealers are really helpful. Well, and I have to say, so I played this in February here. Yeah. And uh, the dealers are very, very good. They know what they're doing. And they so any, anyone, you. Yeah, anyone that's not sure what they're doing, you can always trust in the dealer to look after you. Mm. And if you need help, then you can all, always uh, call Scott. Yeah. <laughs>